Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to schedule to run the test scripts in Jenkins. Let me answer. We already know that how to run the test scripts in Jenkins, but how to schedule them. You see, you want Jenkins to run the test scripts at a particular point of time. Let's say today, night 2 a.m. if you want to run the scripts. You see, generally, anybody will sleep at that time, right? At 2 a.m., you will be sleeping in the night. So still, if you want to run the scripts, you will not be awake. So what we can do is we can create a job in Jenkins. And while configuring the job, we can set these build triggers and schedule that build triggers in such a way that the scripts are going to be invoked or executed at 2 a.m. in the midnight. Or there may be some situations where your manager want to run you run the automation scripts, okay? Your manager is asking you to run the automation scripts every day at 4 p.m., every day, including weekends, okay? So on one day, you forgot. Your manager became angry and came to you and said that, okay, what happened? You see, on a particular day, uh, uh, yesterday, you were you have not run the script. So because of you, these things happened. He will be kind of angry on you, angry at you, okay? So it's a human tendency to forget the things, right? So in, everyone will forget the things, okay? Not just this one. In real day life also, we generally forget about the different aspects or things. So it's not possible for us to remember. It's not, uh, we cannot write 100% bond saying that I'll remember every day. So in such cases also, Jenkins will come into picture and where we can schedule Jenkins, okay? To invoke the execution of the automation scripts every day at 4, 4 p.m. for you, okay? No matter what. So you don't have to remember that. Jenkins will automatically do its job, okay? It, it can remember, okay? You don't have to worry about that. Or sometimes you want to run the scripts when there are some code changes happening. That is a different thing. But a lot of like these options are there. Scheduling means, uh, let's say every 15 minutes you want to run the scripts, okay? Every 15 minutes you want to run the scripts automatically. So that for that also we can schedule. Like this, many ways we can schedule at night to a.m. We can schedule to run every day at 4 p.m. We can schedule or uh, every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes if you want to run the scripts. That also we can schedule. How this is possible? In Jenkins, while creating a job and then configuring the job during the configuration process of that created job, you have an option to set the build triggers where you can give some line. Okay, based on that line only, it uh, it will schedule the test scripts to run in Jenkins in a proper way. Okay, let me practically demonstrate so that the answer for this question will become more easy and uh, more understandable for you. For that, I'll switch to Jenkins where I'll be creating a new job. Okay, simple job I'll create. So I'll say Arun Puri job, my name, job I am just giving. Just select some option like freestyle project, say okay. And uh, now job has been created and you will be taken to the configuration page where uh, in the general, first you have to go to advanced and here select use custom workspace. Here give the path of the workspace. So in my machine, uh, there's a project here. This this project path I am going to give. I will right click on the project and uh, select these properties. This properties dialog will come. Go to resource. Here we have the path of the project. Go to the location. Click on this option and go to the location of the project. In your machine where the project is available, it will show. Go inside that folder. Now copy this folder path where this form.xml file of the project is also visible, okay? Without this form.xml file, we cannot go further. So better to have that form.xml file. So give this, uh, paste this project location that is there in your uh, local machine. And uh, second thing is source code management. Since it is from the local machine, since I'm getting the project automation code or automation scripts from local machine, I'll just uh, go with none. Otherwise, if it's on the cloud, I can go with it. Then this is what I am talking about, build triggers. In this build triggers, there is one more option that is built periodically. If the correct answer is built periodically, okay? Under build triggers, setting up build triggers. And in that build under build trigger section, we have built periodically option. Periodically option. By using this option, by selecting this option, you will get a schedule option. You see, under build periodically, you are getting a schedule option where how to create that schedules and all. Even everyone is new to that. So 
basically you just click on this question mark and you will get complete documentation okay a lot of examples documentation everything will be there so it is a very big documentation so you can go through that and uh, okay so here are some examples i'll take one example i don't want to waste the time so i'll just go with this example so this statement if i write it will for ev in every hour for every 15 minutes it is going to run remaining things doesn't matter okay uh, remaining things doesn't matter so every 15 minutes the build is going to run okay copy this change this and i can you know instead of uh, 15 minutes i'll just change it to 2 minutes okay so that we can also experience that so every 2 minutes this is going to run every 2 minutes this is going to run so one minute uh, where is that option yeah i'll just uh, uh, the documentation is very big under build triggers we have to select that build periodically and then you will get a lot of uh, examples i'm just going with every 2 minutes uh, i want to schedule the job to run so it's going to run fine then after that uh, just go to the build steps and uh, say invoke uh, top level maven targets here we have the pom.xml file right this jenkins is already configured with maven okay in general settings and all otherwise in the previous uh, questions right i have uh, i have shown you how to configure this uh, maven general settings but the focus is more on uh, scheduling so i'm not uh, deviating here i'm just giving test so that uh, you know mvn test kind of thing will happen and it will run the scripts post build action it should generate some reports if test ng is there you can select that or you can select anything apply and save now go to the dashboard go to the dashboard and see what's happening whether the build is triggered or not every two minutes the build should trigger this time let's see what will happen automatically jenkins in should schedule your job this particular job to run those automation scripts in your project in your local machine every two minutes let's wait for two minutes and see what will happen it's 15 25 here let's give it some time and see whether the build invocation is automatically happening or not let's wait for two minutes i think that is a very big time now it's 26 till, till the build has not started again i am passing for a while you see build has automatically started by uh 327 here you see automatically it started i didn't start it okay it automatically started let's go inside that build and uh, go to the build link and go to the console output and see what's happening in the background. You see the build is automatically invoked. Okay, every two minutes it will be invoked. After this also another build will run. Okay, you see at 3.27 it started. So again at 3.29 or something another build will start. Let it run for them. One of the build is running. Every two minutes, one build will, you see that uh, script got executed. That's the only thing I have written. Build successfully completed. Now, hash one is completed. 1527, it started, right? So 1528, it happened now. Maybe at 1529, another build will automatically start. We can wait for this time. Let's wait for the entire time. So I will not pause the recording. So you can visually see what's happening, okay? We'll wait till 1529. You can, if you are watching this recording, you can, uh, you know, forward the video a bit because one minute of lag will be there because I am waiting for uh, the build to run automatically. So to prove you guys that uh, the scheduling is successful, I'm making this part of the recording, but uh, you guys, when you are watching this uh, recording, you can, uh, you know, just uh, move a bit further, just uh, go forward, okay, in the video so that uh, you can check at 50, 329 the build is running kind of okay at 329 the build should start let's see yeah you see automatically the build started at 329 you can see that i didn't start anything i didn't select any option and run it's running actually every two minutes it will run now okay until you go to the configurations and remove that build periodically option until you deselect that option, it keeps running, okay? Go to the, sorry, I just went somewhere else. Let me click on this and click on this and console output and we can see the, the script will run now.
you see the one sample browser window I, I have kept uh, you know open that's it okay now it will uh, it will go for third build now okay after two more minutes so let's not uh, do that so otherwise uh, what we can do is uh, let's go to the configuration quickly let's go to the configuration of this job and uh, change the settings here change that build triggers options go to the build triggers here from here and deselect this option otherwise it will keep running in your machine okay Jenkins will keep running, scheduling and running it. Okay, so that's the thing. So like that, many other uh, scheduling options are there where you can schedule every night at 2 a.m., uh, every day 4 p.m. Like that, a lot of codes are there. You can go to the documentation, which I showed you under schedule option, of uh, built periodically. Then uh, from the help documentation, you can run it. Okay, so hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.